Good morning guys, how are you all? I hope you're all well. So I'm just putting on some hand cream. I think this is hand cream, this is. Oh, that was a little bit of a chaotic morning. It's Rich's birthday today. So I think it's a couple of weeks behind when this video goes live, just kind of getting ahead. But yeah, it's Rich's birthday today. He's 36, I think, are we 36? Honestly, every year I can't remember how old we are. Yeah, I feel like when your birthday's on a weekday, like daily routines just happen, don't they? But so I haven't really like, being able to celebrate and see him properly this morning. I did give him some presents. I got him some kind of wintry Nike trainers, a Kindle. He reads a lot of books, so let me just pop that there. I thought he'd appreciate a Kindle. He was pretty excited by that. I got him a grind coffee advent calendar, although I ordered it ages ago and I don't think he's actually as into grind coffee as he thought he was. I love it. He doesn't find it's like strong enough for him, but it's fun for the kids to open every day. I think tonight we're going out for dinner to a place called Carmel, so I'm really excited for that. He's been before and he loved it, and I've never been. And it would just be really lovely to go out for dinner together. I don't know who's babysitting, I think, I guess one of my sisters, I can't really remember. So yeah, that's gonna be really lovely. And I'm just getting ready for a day of work, so I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today. I'll vlog later when I'm getting ready for dinner, and I'll vlog some of dinner, and I think I'll bring you guys along with me tomorrow as well. But this video is sponsored by Current Body, a brand I've worked with before, and I absolutely love their products, and and I'm always really excited to work with them because the products are a higher price point. So I think it's amazing when you can get a code, when you can get a discount. I actually first discovered Current Body when I was watching someone else on YouTube and they gave out a code and I like shared it with all my friends and family and I was like, this is such a good opportunity to get something that you've been wanting for a while. As you guys know, I already own and love their LED mask. Me and Rich and my mum share this. Um, it gets like shipped around. My mum borrows it for like a couple of weeks and gives it back to me. I have to like beg her to give it back, but it's so, so good. Actually, I should really get one for my mum using this code. It would make such a good present for someone that's like really into their skincare. Or actually, Rich isn't even that into his skincare and he just loves using this as well. Let me open up this little pouch and show you what it is if you've never seen their LED, LED mask before. It does look a little bit crazy if you've never seen one before. This is what it looks like. It has these little attachments that pop over your ear and then the strap that goes behind your head. There are holes for your eyes, nose and mouth. There are goggles if you want to wear them but you don't have to. I actually find it's quite handy that you can just wear it and use it whilst doing things around the house and like looking at your phone or doing work. So I probably would only wear the goggles if I'm relaxing and lying down in bed. This is what the other side looks like. Let me bring it closer so you can see. And it has this attached, which is how you turn it on. So if you've never had an LED facial before, I find it the most effective. It's the one thing that really makes such a difference to my skin after I use it. And when I've had facials in other places, I always love it when they use LED lights. So I was really excited um, when I got this last year to like have one that I can use at home whenever I like. Like how amazing is that? Just to kind of like work it into my routine and use it whenever I I get the time. So this mask combines red and near infrared light therapy. So that increases the production of collagen. It also calms redness, which is amazing. It improves your overall skin tone and it really helps to boost circulation as well. But this specific LED mask is 31% more powerful than any other LED mask on the market. And the treatment itself is only 10 minutes. Once you press on and you've got it on, it it's just 10 minutes of your time and it makes such a visible difference to your skin. And it's such an incredible and impressive piece of like skincare tech equipment. This is just up there as one of my like best skincare routine recommendations. Do you know what, I haven't had my morning coffee yet. I haven't even had breakfast yet and I am feeling it. I'm gonna pop all the links down below in the description box for Current Body. Let's go downstairs and make a coffee. Many hours later, had a good work day, about to go pick up Rudy and getting really excited for birthday dinner tonight. It's always so tricky like getting ready because I can't really get ready till the kids are in bed and then it's like super, super quick getting ready time. So just in my comfy clothes now and kind of working out what to wear. I think I'm gonna wear these kind of wide leg jeans, which are from M&S and this top, which is from Garni. Um, and I've got a little body to go underneath. So it's kind of like a double denim look situation. I just never know what shoes to wear. And it's getting to that time of year where there's lots of going out, lots of parties, and I just don't have the right shoes. I just find that every shoe I try on, unless it's a trainer, just feels and looks awkward. It's really weird. I don't know if anyone else finds this, but I just really struggle with shoes. I guess they have to tick a lot of boxes because they have to be comfortable, have to be able to get on and off the tube and do a lot of walking 
looking in them but it's not even just the comfort thing I just find a lot of shoes like look I guess I wear a lot of oversized clothes I'm a little bit like top heavy and I find just a lot of shoes just make my feet look really awkward I don't know anyway I'm gonna go pick up Rudy bring him back have some time with the kids and then I'll bring you guys to dinner with us Okay, we are out the house um, and we're on our way to a place called Carmel, is that how you pronounce it? Yep. Uh, in Queen's Park. Um, I'm very excited, I'm very hungry, I love going somewhere new, Rich has been, he said it was delicious. I've kind of looked at the menu but to be honest I just want like one of everything. I guess it's your birthday. It hasn't felt like your birthday has it? It's been like a normal working day. Um. We did do candles and I'm not going to say cake, it wasn't really a cake was it? I really, it was like oh. a little cupcake from the corner shop but the kids love blowing out candles. This is very random but very cool. Very cool. Where are we? Queen's Park. And this, I don't even know what it's called, what's this road? Uh, Lonsdale Road. And it's like this trendy road with all of these cool restaurants and I mean I bet it looks really cool in the day but like loads of these like cool buildings and there's a brewery and a restaurant. I've never been here before. How does 36 feel? Let me know, I've got two I weeks until I'm there. do feel a bit older. Okay, this is it, this is Carmel, but we're half an hour early. Yeah. Are we gonna see if we can go early or do you wanna go see what that brewery is all about? Do you wanna go get the brewery? Let's go or see. Are you hungry? I mean, I am, but it's weird to turn up half an hour early for your table, yeah, isn't it? They're quite quick in there as well. We came to a brewery next door. Was this peach? Peach lager. It's, like, it's called Peach Jubel. Oh wow, that's delicious. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like light but fruity. It's like a peach iced tea beer. What did you get? Same. Oh, you got the same one? I tried it. I was like, I'm having this. <laughs> that was the most delicious beer I think I've ever drunk. But I like downed it. I think we're going to see for my party if we can get that peach wolf pack beer. It's so drinkable. God, there's like a pizza pilgrims here as well. This place looks amazing. We've decided to go for the set menu, which I feel like you're not really... Can you see? Can you see? It's kind of got everything that we liked from the main menu on it. So I thought that was the best way to go. Yes. Happy birthday! <laughs> Okay, so this is the cabbage and the flatbread and the hummus. Everything looks incredible. Thank you. Everything's a little blurry now, but this is the most incredible tomato avocado salad ever. Okay, this is the main, the lamb. That looks so good. Is it just falling off the bone? Oh my god. Final thing is wait, is it apricot? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If I look like I'd be crying, we'll be having really intense conversation. In a good way. Ooh. It's not what I expected it to taste like. Can't remember what I was in there. Good morning. It's the next day. Dinner was so so lovely. Like really delicious. We did end up taking a goodie bag home because we got the tasting menu and it was just so much food. So hopefully Rich took that into work today to have lunch. I'm just in town. I'm, oh it's chilly. I'm having my tattoo removal this morning. I'm kind of dreading it. It's really, really painful. It just gets more and more painful as you go, which is kind of weird because you think like the more it fades, the easier it would get, but the more it fades, the harder it is to like pick up the pigment. I've put on some like numbing cream, but doesn't really do anything. The best thing is hypnobirthing, if I'm honest. I put my headphones in, I do some deep breathing and it's over really quickly, but it is sore for a couple of days after. Um, so I'm heading for a tattoo removal and then I've got some meetings today, but it's really lovely, like dry, crisp weather. So that's really nice. And hopefully town won't be too crazy because it's cyber week. If I get time between meetings, I really need some new black boots. So I might see if I can go and find some. I also am still on the hunt for some silver trousers to wear for my birthday party. Look at this guys, this was in June. And this is now. It doesn't actually show as much on camera, but there's so much. That is like proper black in there, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. Oh, all 
right. Okay, I'm kind of limping now, but I've got a bit of time before my meeting. Operation, find some boots and find some silver trousers. Okay, I found these in and other stories, which I really liked, but they unfortunately don't have my size. But I'm also trying these on. Let me show you. I thought these could be quite handy in my shoe wardrobe because they are comfortable, easy to walk in. Um, they show a little bit of the top of the foot, which is quite handy when wearing like trousers like this. Just not sure. Guys, look how gorgeous Bond Street is. I just feel like Bond Street is the most like Christmassy place in London. I don't know why, it always reminds me of Christmas. It's so fancy. Wow, look at Loewe. I was actually gonna pop in to try on my dream bag, which I tend to do from time to time. Just dream. Look how amazing that is. Guys, I'm struggling to vlog today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think it's just very busy in town and it just never feels like the, the right moment to get my camera out. I popped into Abercrombie, which is actually the first time I've been in there since they had a rebrand. And I have to say the vibe was not the one. They've gone so far the other way now. There's just like no vibe at all. Um, I went in there because I knew they had silver trousers and they there's 25% off, but they just weren't right. Then popped into Liberty, so nice and Christmassy in there. And well, I'm literally hiding in an MS vlogging, what is wrong with me? Then went into Liberty, so nice and Christmassy. Went to try a couple of Lilabo fragrances because I can't decide between Matcha and Le Noir for my birthday. I love them both, they're really different. Quickly coming into MS because I want to see if their silver trousers are sold out online. I want to see if they have any in store. Guys, these are totally sold out online, and there was one pair left in store in my size, in a size 12. Like, what? This is meant to be. If these look good, then I just know this is meant to be. <laughs> okay, off for a meeting now at a place called Rovi, which I've never been before. Always love trying somewhere new, so just heading there now. Here's my lunch. Uh, it's a chicken mixed grill, apparently, though it's like liver and heart, and what else did she say? Liver and heart. Liver and heart. Just liver and heart. <laughs> I was a bit unsure, but. I think it's all gonna be okay, it smells delicious. This is miso caramel fudge. Thank you. Thank you. That's our food was late. Oh, that's good. It's nice. Yeah. I'm in an office. I've been really awkward vlogging all day and just haven't been able to do it because I've been awkward people on the street. Lucy, do you hate these? Yeah. <laughs> do you? Yeah. <gasps> oh, they look really awful off, but when they're on and you've got... Should I show you on? I almost feel like I need to, because I really couldn't decide. Wait, I'm going to be so late. Do I try them on? <laughs> I got two awful things. <laughs> I also got the, the silver trousers from Eminem. But they're better on than they are off, right? They're very comfortable. I can like... I'm running a bit late, so I'm rushing to get back on the tube, but I know when I get home I won't be able to finish this vlog and it's going to be all dark and, you know, so I'm going to end it here. Hopefully it wasn't too chaotic. It's been a bit of a crazy week. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check the description box for codes and links and everything that I've mentioned in this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!